if two lines are perpendicular the product of the gradients is equal to negative 1 so this is line L1 uh, making an angle of theta 1 with the positive arm of the x-axis and L2 is making an angle of theta 2 with the positive arm of the x-axis okay and the gradient of L1 is m1 and the gradient of L2 is m2 and we want to prove that m1 times m2 is negative 1 or the same thing can be written as m1 is minus 1 over m2 now to explain this I want to explain the angle of inclination okay now I have drawn uh, this is the x and y axis and this is a line uh, intersecting the x axis at negative 5 and the y axis at 7 okay so the this is negative 5 0 and this is 0 7 so this uh, line is making an angle theta with the positive arm of the x-axis so the gradient so let me write gradient gradient m is we know is rise over run so from negative so the rise is 7 and the run is 5 so which is uh, 14 over 10 which is 1.4 if you think about 10 and theta in triangle in this triangle uh, this is 7 you can understand this is 7 and this is 5 and this is a right angle triangle so 10 theta is also 7 over 5 which is 1.4 so when a line has a positive gradient it is easy to understand that m which is the gradient is nothing but tan theta in other words theta would be tan inverse of m now in this case if you want to find this angle theta your theta would be tan inverse of uh, 1.4 tan inverse of 1.4 so let us do it so shift i've set this in degrees uh, of 1.4 is 54.5 in 1 dp so this theta is 54.5 degree this is for when the when the line is making a positive gradient you can understand this very clearly but when a line is making a this line has a negative gradient so yeah for for this it's a bit difficult to understand so let us find uh, the gradient so the gradient here is rise over run so here the rise is negative this is your rise and this is your run so this is your rise which is negative run is generally positive so you can also be run can be negative so you in this case it is positive so you're going to the right so that the run is positive and the run is negative because you're going down so your rise is from phi to zero so your rise is negative phi and your run is four which is nothing but minus 1.25 now the angle uh, let me delete this uh, the angle that you're talking about the angle of inclination is this angle theta so angle of inclination is always the angle the line makes with the positive arm of the x-axis so if you want to find theta uh, you have to find uh, the calculator will give you this angle so I'll explain that later so if you find tan inverse of negative 1.5 tan inverse of negative 1.25 so let us do that uh, shift tan of negative 1.25 is is negative angle now so this when you're going anti-clockwise is positive and when you're going clockwise by convention is negative so this you have to add 180 because this whole angle so let me show you this is this is 180 degree 
So let me show like this. This is the whole thing is 180. Okay. And this is minus 50. What was the number? Minus 51.3. So if you add plus 180 to this number, that will give you theta, which is 128.659. So your theta is this. And if you find 10, 10 of this angle, that is answer. I hope I'm not confusing you. You'll get back this, the gradient. So theta, so yeah, the theta would be, what was the number? 128.66 into dp. So theta is one, again, I forgot the number, 128.66. 128.66 degrees is the angle of inclination for this uh, line. So the calculator, when you find the tan inverse of this negative gradient, it will give you this angle. This will be a negative angle, so negative. What was the number? Negative 51.34. Negative 51.34. And this angle is 128.66. Okay. So basically, you get the negative angle, add 180 will give you this angle, and if, when you find 10 inverse of one point, uh, or you find 10, so you, in other words, your M, in this case, is equal to 10 of 128.66. I hope I have not confused you. So basically, the angle of inclination is the angle that the line makes with the positive arm of the x-axis. Okay, so that much that is over. So let us prove this now. So here, uh, this is the exterior angle. Theta 2 is the exterior angle. And uh, this 90 and theta 1 are remote interior angle. So yeah, so let me write that. Uh, theta 2 is an exterior angle and uh, 90 degree and theta 1 are, are remote interior angles are remote interior angles now, there's a relation between exterior angle and remote interior angle. You can prove that yourself. So, the relation is theta 2. Theta 2 is equal to 90 plus theta 1. Theta 2, exterior angle is always equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. So, these are the remote interior angles. So, if you take 10, so therefore I can say 10 theta 2 is equal to 10 90 plus theta 1. Okay, so let me scroll down. Therefore, I can say 10 theta 2 is equal to 10 90 plus theta 1 becomes negative cot theta 1. But let us prove that. So this is same as sine 90 sine 90 plus theta 1 over cos 90 plus theta 1. So now using the compound angle formula, I can say this is nothing but sine sine 90 cos cos theta 1 plus cos 90 times sine theta 1. This is the compound angle formula for sine A plus B. And using the compound angle formula for cos, I can say this is equal to over cos 90 cos theta 1 and minus sine 90 sine theta 1. Now sine 90 is 1 and cos 90 is 0. So let me 
So I hope you know this. So let me write that. Sine 90. Sine 90 is 1 and cos 90 is 0. So what will happen? So this will become, uh, this is cos theta 1. Cos theta 1. This becomes 0 because cos 90 is 0. Over, again this becomes 0 because cos 90 is 0. And this is 1, so minus sine theta 1. Okay, so what happens? So we can say tan theta 2 is equal to minus cot theta 1. Okay, so theta 2, therefore we can say tan theta 2 is equal to 1 over negative 1 over tan theta 1. Therefore, I can say tan theta 1, multiplying both sides by theta 1, tan theta 1, tan theta 1 times tan theta 2 is equal to negative 1. But what is tan theta 1? As I explained in the angle of elevation, we can say tan theta 1, let me use a different color, can I say m1 is nothing but tan theta 1, and m2 is nothing but tan theta 2 because theta 1 is the angle that the line makes with the positive arm of the x-axis and theta 2 is also uh, the angle the line makes with the positive arm of the x-axis. So tan theta 2 is m2 which is the gradient of L2 and tan theta 1 is m1 the gradient of L1. So we can say, therefore, this is nothing but m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, we can say m1 is negative 1 over m2.